this is take two, because apparently I had the microphone on my laptop covered, so it was just a bunch of muffle for the whole, like, five minute video. So, um, this weekend we had our family reunion, and it was fun getting to see the people that we see, like, only once a year, just the family reunion. So then we mostly played cards and ate, so that was about the extent of our family reunion. Um, it was fun playing, like, games and stuff in, like, a bigger family setting, because, like, right now it's Katie and I and then my parents, and they usually don't play games with us, so Katie and I can play, like, double solitaire, and that's about it. So then we were playing Telepictionary, I think that's the name, like, when you the drawing, and then you pass, and then you guess, and then it gets back to you. So then we played that, and we had a family size version. It's like 12 people can play, so that was fun playing that with some of the terrible drawers and weird things that came out at the end. Like, it's not going to be a phrase. It's usually two words at the most that the card says. So it's not going to be like, the bomb that fell on the flower or something. Like, no, it doesn't make any sense. It's more fun that way, but it's not usually what the card says. So, that was fun. And the family reunion is in Winterset, so that's the birth birthplace of John Wayne. So, we went to the museum, which was like... Normally it's fifteen dollars per person, but it was ten for us since we were such a big group. So it was just basically this room, and it had like some of his outfits and guns and movie posters, and it had his like actual car that he drove around in it. And so then that was kind of cool, I guess. But I'm not a big John Wayne fan. I've seen maybe like five or so of his 21 movies so then it'd probably be a thing to do if you're a john wayne fan which i don't know if you guys watch much westerns you don't seem like your family would but you could surprise me i don't know but seemed a little overpriced for me i don't think i would have gone if my whole family wasn't going and then like with the museum, they have, like, his house that he actually, I think he was born in it, and he lived there for, like, three years or something when he was little, and it was just, like, this three-bedroom little house, and only, like, the floor and his windows were original to when he actually lived there, so it had, like, posters and information stuff of, like, his life his, like, younger life and later on and whatever, but the house was kind of pointless to see. And then, like, the house was, like, far away from the museum, and they just gave you a sticker that said that you paid to see it. So literally, like, after people went out of the museum or the house, you could just give your sticker to someone else, and they could get in for free. So that's doesn't make as much sense. You would think that they'd, like, stamp your hand, and that'd be cheaper than a sticker anyway. But, whatever. They do what they want, I guess. So, family reunion was just, we got there Friday night, and then it was all Saturday, and then we came home Sunday. So then we had church and Father's Day on Sunday, and didn't do much for Father's Day, really. It was just kind of like, Hey, Dad, thanks for being Dad, kind of thing. So, um, otherwise I've been working a lot. I got, like, two hours overtime this past week. I worked, like, 11 days in a row. So, um, yeah, so that's basically my whole life. And in the kitchen, it's only, technically, it's the manager and I are in the kitchen, but she does whatever. I don't know where she goes. I know she smokes a lot, so she goes out and smokes, and then I'm in the kitchen. 
then it's not usually that busy just between like 11:30 and like 1 so like only two hours of the whole shift do you need two people in there and we're training a new guy now so there's been three people in the kitchen during the rush and he's just kind of in the way but we're trying to train him at the same time so not working out the best so I think it'd be better if there was just two of us the trainer and then either her or me but you'll get the hang of it so um I think we should do something July 4th. I don't have to work because we're not open that day. So that's like a day that I could, I don't have to ask off. So I don't know what your guys' plans are. So it'd be fun because my brother invited my family down to Kansas City. So we could like meet in Kansas City. Like Addie and Audrey could meet you somewhere and you guys could all drive up together. So then It'd be like Monday night into Tuesday. I guess we could do that if you wanted to, if you didn't have plans anyway. Um, other than that, we need to figure out when St. Louis is happening. Cause I think you said July sometime, which is getting close. We have like a week and a half or something like that. I don't remember how many days are in. June, because it's the 20th today, so we need to figure out those plans, and I'm glad that your ballet classes are going really well, so that sounds really fun, I don't think you've had any problems that you've told me anyway, so I hope they go well again this week, and I'll see you later.